it's Andrea from Prairie Sky DIY, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba, Canada. For this card, we're using Heartfelt Hexagon. Um, grabbed the wrong punch. We're actually using the Hexagon punch. Um, and the paper that I'm featuring for this one is Laven Perennial Lavender. Um, so we'll just do a quick flip through the paper pack. I've already got my sheet selected here. Um, this is a really lovely watercolor type botanical. It is just, it's so pretty. And I love that it's got sort of that modeled handmade paper background. It's just, it's gorgeous. Um, so let's jump right in on the card. Um, the back of every paper pack, I've got a dimensional back there, shows the coordinating colors. For this one, I have chosen to use uh, crumb cake as my card base and Lost Lagoon as my accent piece. So we're just going to go ahead and cut our paper to five and a half and score it at four and a quarter. I've really been stepping away from the basic white card bases lately. So we've got this. Actually, I do need to change my trimming blade. So I will do a quick demo on how to do that. The trimming blades come in a pack of four. And there's a little um, indent area on the paper trimmer. So all you have to do is pull it up and out. And then just put that in that container for now. I like to do a little bit of a wrap around with tape or something to protect that edge because even though it is dull um, it is still pretty sharp and then you want to put in right into the trimming blade and then you're secure put this guy back in so the pack of four does last a while I've probably had that one for almost a year I don't change my blade as often as I should a thrifty tip for you um, if you want to you can try cutting a little bit of tin foil or something um, to sharpen the blade. It does work. So I'm cutting this to five and a quarter by four for our first base layer. And then our second base layer, I'm gonna do it at four and a quarter by uh, two and three quarters. Three. Four and a quarter by three. So then I'm going to take our designer series paper and I'm going to cut it a quarter of an inch smaller than this piece. So this one was cut at three. So I'm going to do two and three quarters. I think I'm going to do... Bit of a trim job. So this was four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this at four and a half. Actually, I'm going to cut it at five. And then I'm just going to trim off the top piece here so that we've got a nice little frame. And put that back in the paper pack and then I am done. All right, so now we're gonna start our assembly. Grab our bone folder. I'm not sure what I did there. Oh, I know what I did, I cut this at the wrong. This is four and a quarter, not four. Here we go back on track. What's that saying? Measure twice, cut once. Not applicable in this craft room, apparently. All right, and if you wanted to, you could run this through an embossing folder. You could stamp on it to create a bit of a background. I want something that's just a little bit more plain and simple. Okay, then we're gonna do a piece of here. Okay. 
aim for center. Actually, we're gonna do another layer. So we'll do three and a quarter, four and a half. I flipped this around so that the uh, rough edge would not be part of my card. So a little bit of designer series paper can really take you a long way. Um, I'm just going to do, I was going to pop it up on dimensionals, but I'm just going to do a flat lay here. And roughly center of the card. Um, now we've got our punch, we've got our stamp. I was going to do sending lots of hug your way, but I think I'm going to do... I hope your day is filled with joy. <clears throat> now, where did my stamp block go? And I've got our little scrap here that I'm just going to make sure fits into our punch. And it does. I love it when a plan comes together. I'm going to ink it up with memento because sometimes you just need a little bit of black. Okay. Straight down, straight up. And then to get your sentiment punched, we're just going to run it in, straighten, kind of center ish. And then just a little bit of a punch hole before you punch out your sentiment off to the scrap bin with you. And then this is going to fit there, but I am gonna use dimensionals for this one. I'm using the minis. You can use the regular size. Um, you can even use the outside bit of your dimensionals when they start to run out. So we've got a nice little blank space right there. So we're going to put our sentiment exactly there. And then I'm going to bring in these guys, which are the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. And I'm going to use the green color here. And I'm just going to place one on each side just to kind of finish it off a little bit. Um, there's dark silver, light silver, and a green tint. It goes back into the packaging. And there's our card featuring the heartfelt hexagons. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon.